Jacob, you've just lost to a very good USA side. It's your first taste of major tournament boxes across. Uh, how was that for you? What are your takings from the game? Well, it, yeah, it was baptism by fire in terms of they're a different level of skill and they've got so much more experience than us kind of English lads. Um, but I think I really enjoyed the challenge and it hit me in the third quarter. Um, but I managed to kind of reset, take a breath and play my game in the fourth and kind of let in only three or four, which I'm really pleased and really happy with. And the boys in attack hustled really hard and got some really nice goals. And the boys at the back, unsung heroes, always, always working. And um, yeah, you came on in the second half. Um, you, you, you ended the game with 20 saves and, and an 80% save percentage. So not bad for your first uh, half of box across in a major tournament. Well, super. That, that, that absolutely shocked me. That does. <laughs> um, no, very, very chuffed. Uh, credit to the to the lads. They 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 stop the ball first, and then eventually it gets to me, and they put in an absolute shift today. Uh, and what's it been like to work with head coach Walt Christensen and your fellow goalkeeper uh, Cam McLeod? Because they're obviously both top quality, and they've got loads of experience. Yeah, Walt has a plethora of knowledge and has coached in major major tournaments and cups, um, and he's so level-headed and can tell me or tell players to tell me oh you just need to tweak this or tweak that and in a calm manner and i think that was really appreciated today and cam mcleod super super helpful he's been helping me all year from across the seas and making time for me in his busy professional season um so it, it, all the credit kind of goes to them for helping me and i wouldn't be here without them and Although you weren't playing at this point, but in the first quarter, England managed to level up at 2 2, and you could see, through, see throughout the game that the team never gave up at all. And what does that show about the togetherness of this team and sort of that determination to, to, to play for each other? Oh, this, this team is so tightly gelled together, and I think it shows the potential we have when we come together as a team. I think we kind of took America by surprise, and in the sense that we were able to keep level with them and play with them. And I was really, really chuffed watching that along, along the bench. And we're playing at such a great speed that I think England is just rising and rising and rising. Um, and so you've got a rest day now before a game against the, the Hodnish only, the, the last pool stage game. Um, USA beat them on Friday. What are your thoughts ahead of, of that game? Oh, I think they're a really, really skilled and really experienced team. I think it's going to be a great challenge for the boys. Um, I think. Like Walt says, we've got to manage expectations and find small wins within the game. And I think that we can give them a good show. And just finally, what, what are the plans for, for the rest day tomorrow? Is it just all about recovery? I know you've got a training session as well, but, but what's the plan really? Yeah, no, it's, it's look after your body. It's eating right, even in America, um, making sure we've stretched and as a team and getting the right recovery with the excellent physios on stand. Um, and maybe if we get some spare time, we can come down here and watch some more across.